Kia ora internet, it's a couple of days before Christmas and it's raining outside so the plans I had for the day aren't going to happen so I thought let's get some crafting done. Now I've got a whole lot of projects I should be getting on with because I think I've got five or six half completed projects plus plans for other projects but I'm in a I want to do something new sort of mode so I thought I'm just gonna be creative and I don't know do something relatively unplanned. I've got this little pack of five inch squares little charm pack that I've had sitting around for years it's Christmas fabric I think I got it like off trade me or something like that I can't remember but it's never really inspired me before but I thought if I didn't use all of the fabrics I just used some of them I can maybe make some kind of little Christmas tree mini quilt I don't know It's an interesting combination of colours in this charm pack. There's quite a lot of cream and of course there's red and green but then there's also blue so not sure I want to use the blues. I might just start with the creams and the greens. I think I'm going to start by making the tree shape with half square triangles. That will give a nice spiky pine effect I think. And I can mix up the dark and the light greens doing that. I'm going to need 12 half square triangles that are cream and green for around the edge and then another 15 green and green half square triangles to go through the centre. I'm offsetting each row of half square triangles from the row above just to make the shape a bit better. It's going to make filling in the background more interesting. <laughs> but on the plus side, fewer seems to match. I cut the rest of the cream fabric into two and a half inch squares to fill in the background and then I cut a extra piece of brown from my stash to make the trunk. Because I was using the offsets I needed some narrower pieces to fill in the sides and that gave me just enough to put a narrow extra row along the top. I didn't have enough of the cream to make a full row. But I think it looks okay with just the narrow row. Because I'm just making this up as I go along, I don't really have any particular finished size in mind. So I haven't been all that careful about the seam allowances which means once I squared it up it's now a bit of an odd size. It's 14 and 3 quarters by 15 and a half inches. 
so it's not even actually square. I've decided I'm going to add a border around it of a cream fabric from my stash just to get it up to a square and a square of a size that gives me a few more options for what I do next. I also think I might have a try at adding a flanged border because I've never done that before and in theory it's not too hard. sure what I want to do next. I thought about using the rest of the charm pack to make a pieced border. I'm not sure whether I want to use all the different colours that are left or just maybe use one of the blues and the red or maybe the dark blue and the light blue together. And some of the blues and the red do show up in the details of the green and cream squares but not much so I'm not sure whether it'll look weird to have blue and red around it or whether that will just nicely pull out those colours. I'm trying to audition it here. The other option was just to use more of that green fabric that I used for the flange which could look quite good but it then makes the whole thing very green. It's kind of a bit boring maybe. I also had kind of thought I'd use the green as binding which wouldn't look as good if I had a green border around it. So I'm kind of leaning to having the piece border. I'm just not 100% certain yet. I consulted with the artistic oracles and they agreed with me that it was going to be too much green having the solid border so I went with the checkerboard and I think it looks quite good. I thought about putting another outside border on it but I don't think it actually needs it. So that means it's time to get it quilted. <laughs>
I'm pretty pleased with how that's looking. I think, seeing as I've got that little flange edging around the inner border, I'm thinking I might try a faux flanged binding, which is another thing I've never tried before, but I've seen a lot of people do it, so how hard can it be? And there's the finished mini quilt. I think it turned out really good. It's a little bit more subtle in colour scheme than my usual super bright stuff. But I think mean, it's, it's good. It's, it's nicely Christmassy without being too over the top. The red and blue on the border work surprisingly well. I had my doubts about the blue for a while but I'm glad I went that way and not with the green. I think it's a much better colour scheme. And the flanges look great. I'm so glad I tried those out because they just add that little bit extra to the quilt, I think. Very happy with them. I hope you had a great Christmas and that you enjoyed this little one last Christmassy video. Don't forget to do all those nice internet-y things like liking and subscribing. And I'll see you next time. Kakiti anal internet.